Okay, guys. Um, you're going to ask me, what in God's name is this? You're not seeing things. Um, this is a 22 that I bought for my nephew. He's eight years old. Uh, however, certainly not old enough to own the gun or take possession of it, so it's in Uncle Rod's hands until he gets it. Hopefully I won't wear it out. I know, I know, you know, don't shoot it, keep it for a little guy, but I mean, this thing is fun, guys. It's cheap as to live in hell to shoot. Uh, 22 long rifle. Uh, I purchased this gun a year ago or so, maybe a year and a half. Uh, a friend of mine got it for me out of the States. It's a, uh, Cricket Arms, Cricket Rifle, Keystone Sporting Arms Company out of the States. It's a laminate, yellow and purple. And the barrel's a 16 and an eighth inch long, which is, uh, this is a dandy little thing. I've shot, I don't know how many rabbits with it. Um, and I, I love shooting target with it. It's got like a little peep sight on the back. That's pretty crude, you know. It's just, what do you want for $210? And that's what I paid for shipped here. Um, you know, you can buy 500 rounds of 22 at Walmart for like 25 bucks and go right to town and play with it. Uh, single shot's a great rifle, uh, you know, for training young people how to shoot. It, it only weighs about 3 pounds. Um, I don't think it's, uh, it might be about 28 or 29 inches overall length, but I mean, it's, it's like a little dinky thing. Uh, it's not, it's no military trigger, I'll tell you that, or no two-stage trigger, uh, but it's not bad. Uh, just going to try and shoot it at 35 yards, and I have some of the, uh, Winchester Expert cheapy stuff, and I got some, uh, CCI and Winchester stuff in there we're just going to try. I got a couple of shorts, too. Uh, we'll see what happens with that, and uh, I'm just going to set you guys down over here, and hopefully no, hopefully no big muzzle flashes, or no uh, dislocated shoulders with this one, but um, you know, it's just fun as hell to shoot, I love the little thing, and I've had my nephew shooting it, I mean, he doesn't care if he hits anything, He's just, it's just fun for him, right? And that's all what it's about with me. It's all for the little guy, but, you know, Uncle Rod bought it. Uncle Rod can play with it, too. I'm just going to try one of these little Winchester shells here. These are just lead bullets. The ejection on this thing is great. It goes actually pretty much straight up. There is a scope mount available for it. It's called My First Scope, which is, uh, it, it's priceless. I mean, there's two little screws right here, and the scope is only about this long. You have to remove the peep sight, but uh, I, I do have the mount coming for it. And as you can see also, uh, it's nice and safe. You have to cock it. It's like a cooey. Cock it on, uh, on upon closing. It's not a cock on close action. It's cock, uh, manually cocked. Nice and safe. It's great to have, you know, and uh, teach little guys how to shoot properly, shoot safely. For us big guys, you know, we can cycle it with our one finger and it's kind of good. Uh, the rifling in this thing is similar to a Merlin. It's got like a micro groove, like a, there must be 10 or 12 grooves in it. But uh, it's nice and easy to clean. Um, like one or two patches and it's totally clean. Some guys will tell you don't clean a 22. Well, I believe in cleaning every gun, no matter what, as little or insignificant as it's been shot. Do a little clay target there on the ground. We're gonna see if I can pick it off. See if my eyes are still good. See, I put a hole right through it. It didn't even move the clay target. I can see the actual hole right through it. Now what I'm gonna do is I got some Winchesters here. They got the copper coating on the bullet. Uh, just your... Uh, 40 grain, 
I guess, co coated uh, hollow point. Uh, the other ones are a 36 grain. Just going to pick a little different spot on the target and um, try a group and just see what we get for accuracy. Now, the last group I took, I was shooting for the bullseye around the black. I was uh, So I'm going to take it on the bottom right corner of the target and uh, just see if I can get a group. And as you can see, the stuff here is not loaded. The, the, the report is not as, as cracky as that 36 grain stuff. It could even be some target ammunition that I had. I just had my little uh, prescription bottle here. And again, you know, what do you want for bulk ammo? We're going to put the little guy down. And we're going to go have a look at the target just to see what we got. You know, uh, cheap it's cheap shooting. It's fun. Uh, you know, I was brought up shooting 22. You know, Dad always said, you know, get used to a 22. You know, go rabbit hunting. And target shooting is cheap. So, okay. Well, I see some holes here. Not too bad. All right, my first group here, and it's kind of hard holding that little gun. I mean, I got one dead bullseye, two pretty much in the same hole, and I got one right here in the black tape area. Now I think I got a flyer up here, which I mean is bulk ammo, so I'm not going to be. I'm not too concerned about that. Hey, here's my other group with the heavier bullet. These three are pretty much right together and one little bit of a flyer. So that's pretty much consistent shooting there. You know, three and one of a flyer. So, uh, now my next batch of shooting uh, is going to be a little different for you. I have more of a treat for you. Uh, I'm going to stop this video and I'm just going to do a video on the shotgun by itself. It's going to take me a few minutes to load this thing. Uh, hope you all enjoy it.